Well, ain't that something? It's Surviving Mars. My name's Underdog, and this is Surviving Mars. Today on the stream, we'll be starting challenge mode. I'm not really sure exactly how these challenges work, but uh, we're going to try it. I'm going to go down the list here, starting with the one called Housing Bubble. Have four fully occupied living complexes by day 30 with a perfect time of soul number 13. So you don't have a lot of time. And I just got an alert for my own stream. Uh, okay. Thank you, Twitch, for telling me that I am live. What the heck? Um, that's not a lot of time to do that, but I guess that's why it's challenge mode. This one sounds like it's not too complicated. You just have to send out rockets and get the rockets there. Speaking about sending things to Mars, last week, or was it two weeks ago now, um, we sent a rover to Mars in real life. The Perseverance is there. It's a rover that's going to uh, take soil samples and carbon date some stuff and then it's going to send stuff back to us in like 10 years. So we're going to know all about the history of Mars, which is really cool. And we're looking for ancient life, like microbes and bacteria that existed millions and millions of years ago. It's the stuff that we've done on Earth, uh, you know, to like find fossils and where find out where we came from. Um, we don't have all the answers to that, but we might get some answers to what happened to Mars, which is really cool, and science is awesome. So, what do I have to do? I'm sponsored by China. Uh, I'm a futurist. There's no events. There's no mysteries. And we can select what we start with. Apparently, I get a drone hub and a generator. I also get an RC commander, an RC transport, a six drones, 10 polymers, 15 machine parts, 10 electronics, three orbital probes. All right, well, I'm gonna go based off of whatever the recommended thing is, and no expectations today, but I would like to complete at least this first mission. Let's do challenge mode. So I was just playing the single player and I kind of finished that as far as my first colony goes. And there's also a creative mode, which at some point I'll be playing too. So stick around for more surviving Mars content here on the channel. Cause I do like this game a lot. Fun. Welcome to Mars! Our mission should focus on single objective. Have four fully occupied living complexes. We have to accomplish this goal within 30 souls or 13 souls for a perfect. Are we going for a perfect? Where are we landing? Let's land. Uh, there's a big crater here. Milestone achieved. Let's try to land. Somewhere near this crater so I can get some water. Yeah? Alright, it's day one we just started. You start with nothing. We get nothing. We get axe. Actually, we started with nothing. So I have to remember how the game starts off, and I need to rush to get four full living complexes. That just means I need as many people on Mars as soon as possible. Fungal farm? No. Rockets and shuttles require less fuel? That might help me. Drovers, uh, drones and rovers move 20%? That that could help me receive one-time grant but well, we have to go down the social thing i wonder if these have been randomized what does futurist give me sensor towers 
Yeah, that's not really helpful here. Okay. So this is all my stuff. I'm gonna be stuck down in this... I'm gonna be stuck down in this crater. Oh no, Mr. Bean. Oh no, Mr. Bean! Hopefully my stuff can uh, drive out of this crater. The reason I'm starting here is because I know there's water inside of big craters. That's just how this game works. And we need water for a dome, so we need to rush getting a dome. Let's see. <sighs> I feel like in order to speed run this, we basically need... A... Is this free? This is a free drone hub right here? basically need to pause every 10 seconds here. Large dumping site. That's where I go poop. <laughs> <clears throat> Mature person here streaming live. I'm your mom's favorite gamer. Did you know that? It's true. That's what she told me. She said, hey, that underdog guy is pretty good. He's pretty good at damn video games. I think I'll go hang out with him. Alright, so we do have a free generator, but I think I should save it till we get like a dome or something. So, uh, for power, we're gonna try to build windmills so we don't have to worry about daytime and nighttime we just get constant wind power so we should have the metal and other stuff to build those i think they require like machine parts uh yeah one machine part for concrete which did we bring concrete oh no we didn't what am i supposed to do What am I supposed to do about concrete? Can I, or do we just have, we have $5 billion. Um, can I just order it? Cause I don't see concrete anywhere near where I landed here. Send me all the concrete, baby. There. Okay. I don't see any in this crater. Challenge mode is too challenging. I don't see any on the whole planet. Where's the concrete, bro? Maybe that's part of the challenge. Is you're supposed to build this shit without concrete. Uh, well, I, at least we know what I'm spending my budget on. <laughs> it's gonna be all the stuff that we don't have. Yeah, they the only resource they gave you was machine parts and electronics. Yikes, dude. Well, what is it? How do I, uh, what does it take to construct these metal? I might be able to get some solar panels built. I should have metal from local resources. That might be good enough to power the drone hub. I feel like I took a short break from this game because I just, you know, finished my, like, first playthrough of it. So I wanted to just let that settle in my mind. But now we're back playing the challenges. If they're too tough, then I'll go back to whatever I was messing around with in, like, 
creative or something. This one, do it doesn't sound hard, but I don't know. Anytime I get like a time to do something, I'm always like, oh gosh, I have to focus on what I'm doing constantly. I got 29 days to do this. That's not really a lot of time in this game. It sounds like a lot of time, but it's not really. Okay, so yeah, the only prefabs I got were the drone hub and the generator. You st I don't even have resources to build a dome, dude. They could have at least gave me something. They give you nothing. They give you absolutely nothing to start with. That's rough. I'm trying to think of what else we can build for free. I don't want to start doing a moxie yet. Resources are low. Yes, I realize that. The resource of power is low. How could this happen to me? How could this happen to me? I made a mistake. Sorry. Alright, here's my concrete. And that's literally just to build uh, the power grid at night. But once this is powered up, my drones will be able to do some stuff in this whole area. Uh, did it give me an explorer? It didn't. It didn't even give me an explorer. I can't even search. I can't even, like, scan anomalies. They, get, they literally gave you nothing to do this. You start from scratch. What kind of poppycock is this? I don't even have the technology. We can't rebuild him. We don't have the technologies. 200 research per day. Uh, how am I supposed to do this? I have nothing. I have nothing. Like, I don't even see metal. When we scanned, we saw nothing. The only metal is, like, the, uh, from the rocks in this area. There's not even, like, a deposit anywhere near me. This is rough. I thought the first one would be easy. You can't just throw me into challenge mode and be like, oh, yeah, they're all super hard, by the way. You can't do this. Why would you do this? Frontier, I love you. Paradox, I love you. Why do you slap me with these challenges? Alright, I had... Oh, there we go. Hold on, I gotta reach over and grab this uh, sprite. I have a sprite. I went grocery shopping early in the morning so I can just get it done and we're supposed to get a big storm this weekend the leftover of whatever hit Texas so it's gonna be like sleet and ice and ugh, it's not gonna be fun oh I like that everything's red though is this what you get for uh, being sponsored by China This paint scheme where everything's red. A 
That's kind of neat. Because usually these are just like boring white and gray. My rocket ship bright red too. Yo, ladies, you like my red rocket? <laughs> that means dog penis. Um, anyway. What was I saying? I went shopping early. So I could just, you know, get it out of the way and have stuff in my house to survive off of. I'm basically playing Castaway in my house right now. We're not really in lockdown anymore. And it's scary. It's scary out there. So I'm not, I don't trust people. People are stupid and they scare me and I hate them. And I don't even know what else I need. Um, obviously I need more resources. I could just send out a resupply cargo rocket. Or I need an explorer. I know it's expensive, but I kind of need it to scan these anomalies because there might be something that can help me with those anomalies. I also just need like way more polymers than it started we started me with because in order to build a dome you need polymers, and I need a lot of metal. So let's just get some of that. That'll be here in a couple days. Now, part of the problem uh, with this time challenge in the game is it takes time for a rocket to go from Earth to Mars. Right? Sorry about the echo. Uh, it takes a couple days in this game, unless you get like an upgrade and all the upgrades are through the research. We're kind of too busy trying to get through social and engineering. Because that's what this challenge is all about. Social is stuff that has to do with people's livelihoods, and I need to unlock living complexes, obviously, to get people living. Duh. Pretty simple. Anything that can help me that's what we need. Oh, man, this... This start is rough, dude. Like, I don't even know... I mean, I do I... Can I even extract water yet? I don't even have the concrete for this. I guess I can put the blueprint down. That's the least I can do. Okay. This is in charge of four drones. It covers pretty much the whole area of the crater by itself. That's the nice thing about these drone hubs is they cover a lot of space. And your RC commander just acts like a mobile drone hub. To uh, get your automated construction out of the way. <clears throat> That's three. What other deposits can we do? I'm going to need a lot of concrete. I'm going to need a lot of polymers. I'm going to need a way to make fuel, too. Like, what the heck? Dude? 30 days to make fuel is not a lot of time. I know construction... Like, in order to do construction in this game, it requires a lot of concrete. So we'll put down an extra thing for concrete, which probably won't fill for a while. I 
And I guess another solar panel. Start making my power grid early. We really got nothing else going on. The research is going to take forever. <clears throat> Literally forever. Do I have an orbital probe? Or did I use it? I used it. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. We used it all for this crater. Hoopy scoop dee doo. It shows me concrete down here. <coughs> oh, is this the suggested start area? But there's no water over there. Why would you. I mean. I can drop a rocket there, but why the heck? Why would it put you so far away from the water? I feel like when building a colony, if the goal is to get four full houses, right, then you need water for the dome. We only have to build one dome. That's the good news. We only have to build one. Because a living complex counts as like an apartment. Or uh, just a... I literally think they're just called living complexes. The little houses that hold like 12 to 14 people each. So that means eventually we'll need four rockets. Because early game the rockets can only carry... 12 people so there has to be some time today where we have to do the math of how long does it take to send four rockets four passenger rockets from earth to mars because that's what we have to do we don't have a choice you have to do that in this challenge at some point i i would assume you want to do that about at day 15 I'm gonna guess that's like halfway through the challenge. Cause, well, they say you can do it in 13 days. I don't know how you do this in 13 days. That's crazy to me. 13 days to build a moxie, a fuel refinery, a dome, four houses, and get four rockets to Mars? 13 days for a perfect time? Man, I'm no speedrunner, but that sounds, uh, how do you say, not possible. I guess it has to be possible, but I don't know how you would do it. Yeah, that'll give you guys something to do. <clears throat> Since we're not really doing anything with drones, I might as well flatten this area so I can just drive out of it. Literally just waiting for my rocket at this point. It feels like it's taking a full day right now for each rocket, which isn't bad if that's what it is. Now, I don't know if that's based on the settings in the challenge, because I know you can make the rockets go faster. I know there, there's a research upgrade for that. And if there was a way to get that research as soon as possible, that would be great. But it's not like you're gonna have a research center without the four houses automatically anyway, right? Okay, here we go. Doesn't matter where that lands. Because once it lands, it's gonna be stuck here forever. 
Here's my explorer and some resources. I just need you to do some scanning. Um, I don't really know if this is actually going to need to move much, but I'll pin this as well. And then the transporter. I don't know why they even gave me this, because I'm not going to use it. Like, where? What are you transporting in this playthrough? Or in this challenge? <clears throat> I don't understand. It's not like you're going to have two separate homes. So I don't get that. Scan me, daddy! Are you scanning? Do it. Scan the thing. Give me free points. I'll take a breakthrough. I'll take research points. I'll take whatever you're gonna give me. All right, we're on day four of the 30 days that we have to do this. I'm like feeling nervous about this, man. Feeling nervous. Cause I wanna obviously do it and then just go to the next challenge. But all the challenges, from what I saw on the list, are completely different. They're all totally... Anomaly analyzed. Like, none of Mind them are even achieved. similar. Some of them give you, like, preset built colonies with issues that you have to solve and whatever. There's New tech available. What is this? More applicants will appear on Earth. Explorer AI. Generate a hundred research for each Explorer vehicle. Okay, that, give, that gives me 100 research. For the cost of 1,000 research. That's such a bad deal. <laughs> but we have to take it. I don't have a choice. I have to do it. They're making me do things. There, try that. Apparently we have to flatten that out. Too. They, they're not doing it though. I'm telling these drones to do something and then they don't do it. Why? Are these all vistas? They are. Can I get out of here? I wonder if I can actually have the Explorer drive all the way out. Let's watch it. It's gonna try. It's gonna go as far as it can. I think it can ramp up out of the crater. Yes. Alright, good. So that means I don't have to worry about building a ramp. I don't know what all this is. I think this is just ice on the ground. I never seen this before where it looks like it's white. Maybe that just means it's a cold area. Amar? I'm not sure. But there's concrete out over here, which is really important. So I might have to find a way to just like supply drop a pre-made drone hub and a concrete extractor out here. With some drones. We 
We need that water first. Because if I get water, then I can get fuel. And then we can get, like, a supply line between the two planets. Okay, so what do I need here? <clears throat> oh my god. I need concrete. Mm. Research complete. Yep, and we didn't get any concrete, so. Resupply, give me a pod with concrete on it, please. I can't even get one drone on it. These anomalies are just giving me tech. They're not even giving me like breakthroughs. I guess I'll take it, whatever. Sector scanned. Okay, is there anything else to scan over here? Any other anomalies? I don't think so. Anomaly found. Wait. Where? Where what anomaly? Oh, up here. Can we get there? I'm pressing button. Let's go. What is the hold up here? Hello? That my explorer is not responding. Hello? Select target mode. You can hear me smashing the button. Okay, it's literally not working. What the hell? We're just gonna drop this right in the middle. <clears throat> Concrete. Like we're wasting time already. So when you scrap these pods, they give you like five to ten metal. We drop concrete on Mars here to complete our uh, water extractor. This only costs three metal here. Alright, that should finish the extractor, at least. There we go. Now, this is a big step here. Even the pipes are red. Alright, from what I remember, these only require, like, five power, so... We're gonna try to get one... 
one solar panel and one wind turbine over here. Which we just need one, only one single concrete used for that. That's a huge first step right there. So now we got water. Okay. And from that water, we need a fuel refinery to make fuel so that I can send these rockets out of here and back with more supply. So we're going to try and get I should have enough for a resupply of a prefab. We just need a fuel refinery. How much is that? 200 million dollars? That's not that bad. With one drone I might as well just launch it now. Had enough space for one drone on the rocket, or one drone on the uh, supply pod. Because once we get that fuel refinery, we just have to construct that, connect it, and then we're good. And then we can get a uh, Moxie after that, which gives you oxygen. Once we have oxygen, then we'll start worrying about getting our dome built. And once we get the dome built, and we get houses, and then we'll send people and we'll be done. Hopefully, within time. It just, it doesn't sound like it's that difficult to do. But when you remember that everything in this game takes time and resources and you're like locked into this time frame, it becomes all about like, well, if something goes wrong, then we're screwed. Because in Surviving Mars, things go wrong. Things go wrong with space exploration. And luckily, when NASA and JPL sent the uh, Perseverance rover, there wasn't any issues. And it was flawless. But that's really difficult to do. Really difficult to have like a perfect result. Okay, so we should have the prefab here. How much power does the fuel refinery require? That's my Because it gave me a generator, and I'm wondering if the generator's for the fuel or for the other stuff. Like, why would they give me a generator? Just to help me with my drone? Like, for the drone? Or is it for the houses once we get there? You only get one, so you gotta use it the right way. You gotta rub me the right way if you wanna connect your pipe. I do, and for some reason... Oh. <laughs> I was like, the game stopped, and then it went into autosave, that's why. Connect me, daddy. There we go. Alright, so this requires five power. Yep. We should have that. And we're 
we're building our solar panel right now as we speak. We don't need too many, just as many as we need. We don't need more than that. I don't want to spend resources on all that nonsense. We should have the metal to do this. How much power are you requiring? Five? Okay, we need one more wind turbine. Because at night time, solar doesn't work. I hope that's connected. It should, they, I think the wind turbines have like an area of effect. But they don't directly need to be connected to everything else. But it's not, if I remember, it's not very large. It's like three spaces around them or something. Who's liking my status? Who's liking my tweet? Don't do that. Do, 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 do. Suggested building concrete. Su yeah, but, I, dude, I don't. How? My question is, how the hell? I know I need a concrete extractor, but my, how? How do I get that out here? I don't think I have a prefab for it. Oh, I do. Well, either way, I need my commander to be there. What does it take to construct you? Shouldn't it just tell me in the menu? Cost two machine parts? I only have five. Maybe I can drop machine parts out of here. Oh, I have to build a drone hub anyway. If I do this. Like, that's the only way this really works. So we actually need... I have to think about this. I need a drone hub. Under prefab. One of those. And then like as many machine parts as the game will allow and then we're gonna drop that pod out here okay we're making fuel i see we're only at Sector fuel but two is better than none and there's an anomaly nom 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 bunch of llamas so that can scan and give me stuff. Yeah, the lack of research is part of the difficulty on this one. You don't really gain research early. They're not even doing anything. I need five metal. I have to take my transport all the way. I have to fill my transport with... All right, pause the game. I have to fill this with metal.
And I have to send it. All the way. Here. And then that transport vehicle is literally just gonna have to have an automated line between those two points constantly for the concrete. The only way to do this. Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Okay, what's next? Eater applicants increases research provided by sponsor by a hundred versus moisture evaporator upgrade. I don't even have enough uh, moisturizer thing. Allows clearing of salvaged and destroyed buildings. What? Why don't I have that already? Cargo space. Drone hubs are constructed with two additional drones. That's help. A research by provided by sponsor might help. That only gives me a hundred research though. And that ain't it. I'm trying to stay on the... Look how exciting this is. This is how the rovers move. Like, this is the actual speed. Five miles per hour. Past the tornado or whatever the hell's happening out here. That's a far way to go for metal, dude. Or for concrete, either or. No. What? What? A dust storm. The following biz buildings do not function. Moxie's moisture vaporizers. Moisture evaporators, sorry. And solar panels outside domes. So all my solar panels stop working, basically. Are you shitting on me? You're just gonna throw a dust storm at me now? Fuck you, why would you do that? There's no metal out here. This is what you need your... There's no machine parts. This is what you need your, uh... Generator for. I don't know how I'm gonna... It might be truck bad, but... cancel is I yeah I'll get the concrete it's just gonna take a while oh baby we have six hours till the storm hit this I think technically is the first dust storm I've ever had to deal with because when I was doing my playthroughs uh, because it was technically my first playthrough, 
I turned all disasters off so I wouldn't have to deal with it. Just so I could like learn and understand how this game works. But I mean, if it only shuts down the solar panels, that's that's just annoying. It's not really like a major disaster. <clears throat> Hidden message from what? What's up, Florine? What's going on, man? Why were you banned? What happened? I'm confused. It was two years ago or something, so I don't remember. You must have done something, though. Good to see you. Long time no see. Alright, now what's the deal? How do we... How do we connect these things? It's... You... We're criticizing comic books? What? I don't know about that. I don't know. It was so long ago, so I guess... I mean, if you're never here... Whose fault is that? What else do I need? Just more metal? I don't know if it's really worth another supply drop, though. Metals? I feel like nothing's happening. <laughs> Whoa. Is is this the storm? I can't see. Is this what the storm looks like where it's just there's dust everywhere? Uh uh This sucks. Uh, yeah, all my solar panels just stop working immediately. Oh, Stupid. Uh, it's gonna last for another day? Well... I mean... It's not like... I really need to rush fuel, but... What the heck? I'm making like one can of gas a day. Looks like Rim World. More like Rim Job. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so this is gonna be the supplies I need to get this concrete, dude. You need resources to make more resources. Welcome to Surviving Mars, where we're surviving Mars. The goal in the challenge right now is to get four fully, um, four full living complexes. And you start with nothing and you have to rush. You have 30 days to do it. I'm trying to remember what I did in my first 30 days of my first playthrough. I know I didn't have four, four full houses. I know that wasn't a thing. I literally need, I need concrete to get the concrete to work. This is just silly.
guess I have to use that. I'll use the generator. <sighs> and then we'll just have to hope that when I get my first dome that uh, by then we can afford another one. I don't know. I mean, that solves that Resources problem, but then, of course, there's going to be five other problems. That's just how the game works. I believe we can uh, launch this as soon as the storm is gone, though. 16 hours we can launch out. Fix this shit. And then when this comes back, That'll be a nice load of cargo. We can get machine parts. Because machine parts are going to help me with everything. And that'll be that, I guess. We're just crossing our fingers. I mean, I'm like a third of the way to the goal already, though. I feel like I haven't even done half of the stuff I need to do. I got the water, it's just not powered. I have the fuel, I just can't send my rocket ships out. Because of the dust storm. I don't know if the dust storm was a random event or supposed to happen during the challenge, but... Come on, man. Come on, man! It's always the weather. Anytime something goes wrong, we blame the weather, right? The Dust Bowl of 2021. Blame the game. Well, it is the game's fault. Is there any, uh, fluorine boron on Mars? What are those little moving things? Those are my drones. They, uh, fix stuff. And, you know, do all the automa automatic stuff we need them to do. The chemical you made up? Yeah, is there any of that on Mars? Planetary anomaly? Wow! Oh, I got research points for sending my first rocket off the planet. Alright. That automatically disappeared? It automatically gave me a free cargo. What a deal. Okay. What do I need the most? I need a shitload of machine parts. I probably, if I'm gonna get a prefab, the thing I would need right now machine, it's like, I guess I could get a drone hub for the concrete extractor. That's a lot. Go for it. And then we'll just land it out there. Out there somewhere. Beyond the stars. Somewhere. Or I can land it here and then move the prefab. It doesn't matter. It don't make a difference to me. Resources are low. You're a low resource. Shut up. Don't tell me what's low. Boring, what have you been doing for the past two and a half years? That's the real question. 
Imagine not watching my stream for two years. Ugh. <laughs> I just, I'm just pulling your leg, dude. You know. <laughs> I give everybody a hard time. It's not just you. Yeah. What have you, What have you been doing? Was the question. What's been going on? Look at that. We're... How do you do this in 13 days? I'm on day 11. Someone did this in 13 days? How? I can't even build a landing pad in 13 days. What? Bitch. Oh. <laughs> it makes no sense. Research complete. Reading on your Kindle? Ugh. Imagine using lockdown time to read? Ew. I hate reading. I, I think... I hate reading more than lockdown. Like, if I had the choice between being stuck in lockdown forever and ever having to read a book I think we know what I would pick I would pick lockdown forever our initial spectrographic analysis confirmed it chromium we got chromium a deposit of such a rare metal. Chromium up in the domium. A hundred books a year? Ew. Wrong with you. Why would anyone read a book when you could just watch the movie based on the book? I'm a visual learner. I have to see things to understand them. I get my brain can't like read a page and understand. My brain don't work. My brain don't work right. <laughs> Make this supply line, baby. Okay, that should automatically be <clears throat> automatically be doing the thing it needs to do, and we should have a free drone hub. There we go. And this can go right there. Boom. Somebody completed this objective in one hour from now. One in-game hour. W bro, what? How? I don't understand. Books are better and there's a larger selection. I don't think you understand how many movies exist, but that is true. There's more book than... There's more books than there are movies, but also, nobody's producing 300 movies, I mean 300 books a day. There's like three, they make 300 movies a day. Bollywood is crazy. Bollywood's wild, bro. They out there, they're making like a musical every 10 seconds. And saying books are better than the movie, and you've you've never seen any movie based on the book that's better than the book. Like Twilight? Come on, bro. What do you think made more money, 
Twilight the movie or Twilight the book? Exactly. 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 Have I heard of Francis Harding? No. Have you heard of Robert Frost? Because I drove by his house the other day. I live like a mile away from Robert Frost's farm. The poet. I have to drive by his house like every day. Or every time that I go outside. He was the poet that wrote um, the Nantucket limerick, I'm pretty sure. There once was a guy from Nantucket. <laughs> who told all his Twitch viewers to suck it. Um, True Blood is based on the Stackhouse novels. Wait, I haven't... I've only seen certain episodes of True Blood and I haven't finished watching it yet. Don't spoil it. I'm going to re-watch True Blood because I feel like... I watched it a really, really long time ago and... Now it's on HBO Max, so I'm just going to rewatch it uh, through HBO Max. It's actually the next thing I'm going to start watching. I'm not even joking. Um, like, it's the next thing on my list. So, don't, don't spoil True Blood, because I'm going to just watch it from the start. Probably tonight. I'll probably start it tonight or tomorrow. You can see Eric naked in the show. <gasps> All that, and I better start fucking watching it right now. I don't want to miss a naked man. Because we all know I've never seen that before. The closest thing I've seen to a naked, a naked man was uh, like a Ken doll. We can have a watch party for it on HBO Max? No, we can't. That's actually not a thing. Sorry. The only thing I can do watch parties for are Prime. Now. I lost my uh, connections to everything else pretty much because you guys didn't show up last time I tried to do it. So, you guys blew that opportunity, not me. Hate to shit on everybody, but, um... You guys really dropped the ball with that. <laughs> I had, like, the sweetest fucking deal... ...for, like, watching movies with people. And I was... I was the, like, first person to stream a Netflix movie. On Twitch. That's actually... I'm gonna claim... That I was the first one to do it legally. Because I was given permission by Netflix, specifically, to stream and review a movie for them. I pulled a lot of strings to do that shit. And they were like, as long as you have 20 viewers or something. I think it was 20. As long as you have 20 viewers at the time while you're watching it, you can keep the contract. And, like, nobody showed up literally had like one viewer so it was kind of a blowout and um for twitch prime viewing all you have to do is have a uh all you have to do is have a amazon prime account or a twitch prime account and you're good to go why is this not constructed what's happening why is my transport vehicle stop? What? Hello? I set you to do your thing. Why are you not doing the thing? Dude. I don't have time to do this manually. There are Russian streamers that stream to 2k viewers, but it's dubbed. 
Yeah, people can do it through Netflix if they there's like a special contract. You need a certain amount of viewers to do it though. Prime um, watch parties are just a part of Twitch now because it's the deal between Twitch and Amazon. If something on is on Amazon and you guys want to watch it, I could stream it, but there's literally nothing. The, the selection on Prime Video is really bad. I actually think it's the worst selection right now of the three that I have. I have Netflix, Prime Video, and HBO. And in my opinion, HBO is the best. Like, HBO Max is the best. Netflix is probably number two, and then Prime is number three, just based on the selection of movies that they have. Mm. True Blood is on HBO Max, and there's no way to stream that legally, so I'm not gonna risk, I'm not gonna risk doing that. Plus, I think the only way for me to... I, I don't even think I can watch HBO on my computer. <clears throat> do, 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 do. I've been watching Who's Line and John Oliver and a bunch of all the HBO original movies that have come out lately. I just watched The Little Things and some other stuff. Um, no, I can't even do Discord because it's not through my computer. Like, HBO is on my TV. Yeah, I know, but my, re my response is... My TV and my computer are two different things, so I don't know how you would screen share anything. Unless you want to come over. <laughs> and we can watch it together. I'm just saying. Yo, girl, you want an HBO Max and chill? <laughs> Bro, I don't know if we're gonna get this challenge done because my game is not responding. Uh, it's actually. Oh, 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 I can't, I'm, things are happening, bad things are happening, I, uh, um, my game's not working, my game, video game that we're playing is not working. I can't even pause it! Dude. Okay. <sighs> I'll be right back. I can't even... I can't even stop the... Yeah, everything's frozen. Cool. We broke it. I'll be right back.
Did I fix it? Yes, I did. All right. Sorry. Really sorry about that. Um, sometimes that happens randomly. There is a guy that streams old movies every day, except when he shows Venture Brothers. Well, that sounds like it's a crime to me. Um, I'm pretty sure Adult Swim owns the rights to that, and. Uh, they have their own streaming service, and I would tell you right now that they don't have any connection to Twitch. So it sounds like you should be reporting that guy. The only things that people can legally stream on Twitch are movies through Twitch Prime. Like, that's it. Watch parties through Twitch Prime. Other than that, there's like one exception, and it's the people with that special Netflix contract to stream, but it's like for one specific movie. It's like, it's, let's just say, um, I don't know, fucking, I think Indiana Jones is on there. So like, let's say I want to stream Indiana Jones through Netflix, I would have to contact Netflix and they would be like, okay, you can stream Indiana Jones and then that's it. But, in order to do that, you need a thousand viewers and all the money that you make from that stream has to go to us. That's basically how that works with Netflix and Twitch. Because they're in direct competition, so... There's very restrictive rules about it. He doesn't make any money. That's a lie. Everyone on Twitch can make money. If you're an affiliate, you make money. If you if you run ads, you make money. Now, there's a difference between making like 20 cents and making thousands of dollars, but it doesn't matter. The second you make a penny through an ad roll, it's literally a crime. To stream a, a movie without permission from either Twitch or the movie production company. That's simply how, how that works. Yeah, it's still illegal. <laughs> you can't you can't show things without the rights to it. That's literally copyright. Someone could be formatting it and downloading it, like, you don't have control over that at all. Every VOD on sh on Twitch can be down re-downloaded and redistributed for, for one click of a button. And Hollywood is very, uh, strict about that. I mean, people streamed... Like, the Floyd Mayweather fight with five viewers, that doesn't make it okay. Like, I... 
There's two ways I feel about it. I get why you wouldn't want people to, sh to do it, but I also, we live at a day and age where you can watch shit for free so easily and it, it really doesn't make a difference anyway. Like if someone wants to watch a pay-per-view or a movie for free, they'll find a way to do it. So it's, it's irrelevant really. Bottom line is it's irrelevant. It's not going to matter in the long run. We're waiting for this concrete. What the hell? What's it doing? What's on here? Polymers? I don't need that shit. I don't need that shit, son. Sector scanned. Ooh, woo. My sector just got scanned. There's metal over here. Still can't even build this landing pad, dude. What's up with that? What's up with that? We have 17 days. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have 17 days to do this in-game. Pause, think. What is next? We need a moxie. Well, if I build this first, right? There's only three spots, okay. So I need the regular dome. We have all the stuff for this. We just need a moxie for it. Okay. So we can get this built here. And then make this the priority. And then make this like the other priority and that's going to take up all the shit that I have. How much does this require? 80 concrete. It's going to be all my concrete right there. Gonna be all of my concrete.
Listen, I just want to watch True Blood for one reason, alright? Mostly because I feel I definitely haven't seen all of it. I know for a fact I haven't seen it all. But I really only watch it for Anna Paquin. Like, being brutally honest, if Anna Paquin wasn't in True Blood, I wouldn't give a shit. Like, I don't care. I know it's about vampires, right? I don't really care about vampires. Vampires are cool. Vampires are cool, but it's not like, you know. Anna Paquin was cute once. She's still cute. She's in a new show on Prime. Uh, I forget what it's called. But she's doing a new show now. She's still cute. She's also a fantastic actress. Like, holy shit. Um... When she, yeah, she was a, she was a child actress, um, but when she was Rogue, that made me really happy. Because X-Men is my shit. trying to get the concrete over here so I can build this moxie and the, the dome as soon as possible because if we get this dome built then the rest will be cake hey. yeah that's what I thought okay thank you for the answer it's a shame It's hard because I feel like, you know, I feel like I lost a friend or something. You know what I mean? Okay, we need uh, an oxygen tank for the Moxie. And then it doesn't have to be right next to the Moxie, but. Uh, it would be easier for everybody if we figured out how to connect the pipes. Because the Moxie The Moxie has to connect to the oxygen tank, and then the oxygen tank has to connect to the dome, and the knee bone's connected to the hip bone, and the hip bone, you get the point. Everything over here has to be connected, basically. Bottom line. Until today, the only place we thought. I don't care about ice. We care about.
None of these help me. Like, what the heck? At least give me a research that helps me accomplish my goal, game! Watch a movie and see how long it takes you to guess what it is. Well, are all the films Russian? Or are they just in Russian? Like, it's, if it's some weird, like, independent Russian film, I, obviously I'm not going to guess what it is. They've all been Hollywood. It would take me probably 30 seconds to a minute. Literally. To guess what it is. The last time... I don't think you guys understand, okay? Not only am I a cinephile, but the last time I was a part of, like, a movie quiz was at a bar they had movie movie quiz night at friendlies i ran that shit so it was like my brain is an encyclopedia of cine cinematic and movies um it would it would take me literally 30 seconds I would see the the production logo and I would probably know what the movie is based on the age of the film grain. Like literally that's how fast it would be. It just sounds like a very easy task for me to do. Okay, so I just need more concrete and my stupid thing here is not is not transporting concrete automatically for some reason it's just not doing it so my next uh, supply pod might just be concrete because this is taking so damn long and I need it now like I said, my, my goal was to get the dome by day 15. It is now going to be day 15, and I don't have the concrete that I need for the dome on day 15. Oh, poop scoop. Like, I would literally just give me, like, a cargo rocket at this point, because holy cow, dude. will drop a meteor. I wish it would. I wish it were that simple. We're getting two rockets. Resupply, cargo. Prefab, if we get a prefab, it's gonna be moisture. And might be able to get another generator as well. That'll save me. And one drone. And if I can, like 80 machine parts. That should cover me for the rest of the, the challenge here. 
This is just my first challenge, dude. There's like a hundred challenges in this game. Ah. We're not that far away from the goal, though. Like, if we get this dome built, we're good. It just sucks, man. I, uh, I had a stalker once. Twice. I had a stalker twice. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the second one. But the first one, there was a girl that was in my stream a lot. And, uh, she found out where I lived and she stole my mailbox. It's a real thing that happened. Thanks, guys. <laughs> People are crazy. That was so long ago, though. It was like four years ago. It was a long ass time. You sound hot. It's not that I was hot. I think she was just like, I don't know. People get too attached or something. Sector scan. Beyond. I don't know, viewer streamer relationship. And it's like, yo, chill. Calm down. I, oh, I think she, she said some weird shit that, and I had to ban her and then she like stalked me and added me on Facebook. All this shit and like tried to find out where I lived and then finally found out where I lived and then she stole my mailbox. It was weird. Well, there's a difference between stalking and just like creep being creepy. I mean, like, a, to me, a stalker is someone that either finds out where you live and goes out of their way to like come to your house and mess with you or there's somebody that like follows you from one place to another all the time you know what I mean like they're observing everything you do I mean for me, it's different. For Nimble, it makes sense because she's an attractive female. But for me, it's like, I don't know why anyone would want to stalk me. I'm not an attractive female. I'm barely even a female. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was so dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that girl's problem was. She was kind of weird, though. She was in. She was into some weird shit. Long story short, don't stalk people. Don't stalk people. Okay, so we have a dome. This is huge. This is huge. This. This is the biggest milestone we've reached now. We need God, none of none of these help. Now we need to make sure I have enough oxygen. Power. I need more power. We need more power! We need 15 power. That's at least three sources of power. Here's my generator. We're going to put this down and open it. And we got a moisture thing too, right? We got like free water. Is 
ya. This water will be directly for this dome, though. The other water is to make a, a fuel from. Attractiveness is subjective. You guys have, I think you guys have seen me, though. I look like a homeless lumberjack that got mixed up with a Sasquatch. Or something. Cold wave approaching. A cold wave is coming. Because why not? Let's just destroy all my hopes and dreams at once. I don't think uh, the person that was stalking me, I don't think it was like an attractive thing. I think it was like um, a revenge plot because I banned her from the chat and blocked her on Facebook because she was saying some really out there, like, conspiracy QAnon weird shit. Like, we're talking a long time ago before um, any of that stuff was happening with QAnon. Like, that kind of, like, what? She was saying things that didn't make sense. She said something about, uh, I'm trying to think of, like, the least controversial statement. She said something about, like, Dogs have mind reading powers. And I was like, what the fuck? I mean, I banned you and you're wacko. <laughs> Boom, roasted. Boom, roasted. Boom. You never know when it's coming. Boom. Bang. <laughs> You'll never know how I banned you by clicking on your name. You're right. <laughs> it's not that hard to do. Yeah, I've thrown people out of my comedy shows before. Just because I could. Some guy made a fart noise. Like, I, I told a joke, and... Uh, I mean, I get hecklers sometimes. Not really a lot, because I'm not, like, big enough to get hecklers, really. Um, but one of my first hecklers, I remember very clearly, did this. Like, I told a joke. I don't remember what the joke exactly was, but he did this. He went, you know, like, where you, you push your hand against your mouth and, and do, like, a fart noise. He did that in response to my joke. And I was like, security! <laughs> Take him out! Get this guy out of here! <laughs> and they were like, you can't do that. And I was like, uh, not only can I, I just did. I just did it. Okay. Give me the water. We can do this. I believe that we can do this. Forget the cold wave. Forget the cold wave. Uh, it's happening in three hours! Three hours?! That's my catchphrase. What am I supposed to do in three hours?! What? Three hours. Um, where's my drone hub? Huh. I don't have heaters. I didn't unlock heaters because I didn't think we would need them. And now I'm getting, like, nuclear winter happening, and I'm gonna need my heaters. But there's not enough time to research the heaters, so we're just gonna deal with the storm. Smile.
dude, please. Uh, <laughs> please don't make this harder than it has to be. Any more anomalies? I don't think so. I didn't see any. Not that it matters. Alright, well, we can put the blueprints down. But I feel like that's going to slow my progress here. So all I need to do, guys is get four full houses four of these these can have 12 to 14 people living each i just need them full four of these one two three four they're pretty cheap they only cost concrete uh, I should have tons of concrete by now, you would think, but obviously it's not that simple. We do have enough for- oh, no I don't. I lied! We don't have a cargo pod available. We just need these buildings completed and filled with human beings within the next 14 days. Can I do it? Is it possible? I don't know. Really don't know. I think we have a 50-50 chance here. And I'll take that coin toss. And something just farted. What the hell was that noise? This cold snap is going to last two days. It's freezing my water. Isn't that wonderful? Hooray! Frozen pipes! My favorite. Look at them, they're all covered in ice and shit. What dude? Why? First we had to deal with dust, now we have to deal with snow. This isn't Texas, it's Mars! What the hell? What's going on? I'm trying to play a video game here. Challenge mode is challenging. What do you mean? Mars is cold. <laughs> but dry. Just like my ass. Sorry. I had to say it. Someone had to say it. I think I'm only wearing one sock. I'm playing too hard. I think I'm only wearing one sock, and that's the reason why this is difficult. If I was wearing another sock, Maybe my brain would be working today. Maybe. The good news is, we don't really need water for anything other than fuel. And it's not like I was going to send these rockets anywhere today. I guess that's the good. We have to look at the positives here.
Yeah. Look at the brighter side of things here. Do 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 do. The only really, the only real thing I needed was this concrete back over here. say this slowed production but it didn't really because I didn't I don't have the concrete or the fuel to send rockets anywhere this just gives me more time to think think about how to solve this problem on Mars does it actually tell me what Difficulty is 325. Breakthrough techs are researched 30% faster. Auto sensors and sensor towers no longer require power or maintenance. Yeah, that's wonderful. It doesn't help me at all. Why would they give you that? It's like the worst one. Disables all random events. So these storms are planned? Pre-planned. Have produced a hundred food. These are, why are these part of the mission? Eight domes? I mean, I guess that's after you complete the first thing. You can continue playing if you want to. But... If I complete this, and I'm successful at it, we're gonna try to jump into the next challenge, just to see what it is. Failure or not failure, we'll at least see what the next challenge is in challenge mode. But, um... I really want to do, like, a creative run on this game. I, I just want to make, like, the largest colony on Mars ever that I can. With like a billion people and uh, just see what it looks like with domes all over the map that would be cool and it won't go as fast as you guys think either like cuz it still takes time to send rockets back and forth this game is kind of nice because it's like even when you want to go fast you can't so you know you'd have time to relax and enjoy it I'm just not big on challenge modes lately, but I wanted to try it out because it's there, you know? I was like, I have the game. It's in the game. We might as well see what they're about. Play them. Can't guarantee that I'll be able to complete Research and do them. Complete. We got our low G fungi. I can now grow mushrooms. What the fucking do? How about Moxie upgrade? Eh. Eh. That doesn't help me either. No, oh, this helps. Yeah, I might as well start the research uh, the heater not that it matters now because the cold wave is happening we just have to survive for one more day in the frozen wilderness here and then I can launch my first peoples hopefully what is this uh, fuel at here 18 of 30 
Uh, zero of 30. Ouch. Okay, well, we'll try to refuel this as soon as the, uh, cold wave is over. And then we'll have at least 12 people. Of the 14 in one house. We're gonna have like 10 days to do it. They just need to be, uh, they need to stay alive too, so I guess we're gonna have, have to make them, uh, a farm, and a grocery, and maybe like a research center would help too. Give them a part-time job while they're in here. I mean, building it now, building the farms now is pointless, but we can build the research lab now if we need to. I didn't know different sponsors gave you different paint jobs because I had seen people with like pink rockets. And I was like, how do you paint your rocket pink? But now, I, I guess it's just through the sponsors? Because my sponsor is China. China's red. The reds are coming. Um, so that's cool. Scan. This broke. I'm not sure why it broke or how to fix it. Probably need a machine part, but I have machine parts right there. So. Why is this broken? Oh, we need a uh, one electronic out of here. Randomly. No, it's not freezing. It actually just broke. Sometimes things just break, because they can. One day, six hours, and we're back in it, baby. I don't think I get, like, I still don't have a supply pod. I don't want to waste a rocket for this. It's not worth it. Oh, you were saying you're freezing. Oh, I, I mean, look at what's happening in my game. <laughs> you gotta understand how I could have been confused there. The, the actual temperature right now is like... Does it say? No, it doesn't. Say. It just says we're having a cold wave. Negative 196. Just a tit bit nipply out here. Just a titty bit. Just a titty nip. If you're really a chemist, then what's the uh, weight of a sparrow? How much does a sparrow weigh? The weight of what? A sparrow! A northern sparrow! It's a type of bird. You never watched Monty Python? Wow, dude. You really are stuck in the books, huh? What the hell? No. No. It's from a movie. You lost. I'm sorry. You lost the reference. You failed. You are not the winner. No million dollars.
We're gonna have to ask you to leave your briefca briefcase at the door. There is no deal. And you have brought shame to your family. I'm gonna bring my one electronic. This is a real thing I'm doing right now. I'm bringing the one electronic over here to fix this. Literally what I'm doing. I can't believe that's what we're doing, but that's what we're doing. Look, dude, I I took chemistry once and that was enough. That was enough for me. I'm not playing this to be scientific. I'm playing it because it's a video game and video games make brain happy. Brain happy, brain keep working, brain do things. Video game good for brain. Okay, it's unfrozen, baby! We got our stats right there. We have enough water, we don't have food. As soon as this rocket is full, we are going to ship it out and order peoples. We have like 10 days to get people, like... Dude, we need to go. Go. We need people. I, it's gonna be close, man. I don't know. I feel like the dust storm and the ice storm and all that shit slowed me down. I'm not gonna get the challenge done! I'm a failure! I need this... Please! Can I just order a, a rocket full of people? Right now? That might be the choice. Uh, does it matter who? We need a botanist. Botanist and scientist. And one medic. Uh, three medic. Botanist. Why is everyone Chinese? Because my sponsor is China. That's the country that I'm playing as in the game right now. We need botanists for the farm and scientists for the research. And medics just to save people's lives. Wait, we can't have 22 people on our first rocket? What? Bitch, what? Say what? We can do what? That's crazy. What a deal. That'll help. I didn't know that was, we had that off to the bat. Yeah, I'm getting all 22 then. 22 is the lucky number for you and me. Launch it. Launch that rocket, baby. Come on. All right, first people on the way. Do, 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 do. First people are on their way. You mean Long Duck Dong? You're talking about 16 candles? It's not Long Duck Wang, it's Long Duck Dong. I 
to ask me trick questions. That's cheating. Uh, all right, so we're going to get a grocery store. Listen, listen, listen. Grocery store. An infirmary. Just in case anyone gets sick, we need to heal them immediately. Right? And with the leftover space here, we're going to get... I don't know what's quicker. I, I'm assuming a hydroponic farm would be quicker than an actual farm. Because this takes like a couple days and we don't have a couple, we don't have that time to make. We don't have the time to make that, to make this aiming out. We don't have the time for farming. We just simply don't have the time. That should be plenty of food for all these people. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Construction usually only requires metal and concrete for buildings like that. So once we get these people in here, we're gonna open it up for everybody. No restriction. Come on, dog. We got 10 days, literally have 10 days to do this. No restrictions. Okay. We have 10 days to do this. Go scan it then. Got nothing else to do. Yeah, I. I think my scanner, like my uh, my explorer, is not working properly. It's really annoying. Just being stupid because it doesn't have an upgrade. Forget about electronics. We don't need electronics. We need these people. They're gonna be here soon. I gotta ship this one off too, as soon as we have the gas for it. Sir, can I get an upgrade? <laughs> Produce! This needs to be our top priority. Produce! Please! Hurry! We don't have time. We're gonna destroy the other one for the electronic. Oh my god. Come on. Holy shit. Four, I need four cans of gas. Let's go! What is the hold up? This is pushing it. We're pushing it. Oh, 
chlorine, what's 14, what's 14 times 2? 14 times 2. That's the math you have to do. 28? Okay, so 22. Anomaly analyzed. We have to assume that... We're gonna need at least 7 people on the second rocket then. There's more to the Baron... None of these are breakthroughs. Get it out of here. As soon as this is off the screen, we can send the other one. Okay. So we need at least seven. Oh my god. Why don't I have the other rock? Why don't I have the, what do you mean the rocket's unavailable? What? What do you mean I don't have money? How am I supposed to get What? I have to wait now? All of a sudden now I have to wait. Oh my god, this game is stupid. I have to wait till that rocket hits Earth. Uh, help me. Alright, we want to pick up our crops here. We've got wheatgrass. These grow. We've got wheatgrass, leaf crops, and we'll have one of each microgreens. Here we go. First people on Mars. I hope they like their new home. What sort of gas do I make? When I fart, you mean? What are you talking about? I'm not making any gas besides oxygen. No, in game, oxygen. For, so people can breathe. The first founders have set foot on the red planet. Wait. Does it lock me into founder mode? Hold on. Stop stop typing in chat. It locks you in? Then I can't wait then I lost. Why would it give you founder mode? What? We lost. I don't have... I'm in founder mode for 10... I'm in founder mode. For the rest of the game. How... How did someone do this in 13 days if founder mode is 10 days? That means they had people in the first three days on Mars. Three, so they sent, their first thing was they sent... How'd they build a dome in three days? Unless you, st you can start with a prefab dome. And technically I lost, but we'll play through it. You make do I make oxygen from what? We make what do you mean? We make oxygen from the carbon dioxide and water. It's not based in real science. 
We're not doing chemistry, we're playing a video game. Yeah, there's carbon dioxide on Mars, but there's no oxygen. Don't forget to download your PS Plus games, guys. I just don't, like, I literally, these games are science-based, well, yeah, but, I mean, there's obviously science fiction going on in the game. I just don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I'm, like, stuck in Founder Stage now, forever. I'm literally stuck, dude. I, like, I can't add more people, and I need more people. Like, the challenge is to have four houses completely full, and I just don't, because I don't have enough people to do that. I don't even have one full. You don't like learning other people's logic? No, it's pretty much a routine game. Not that hard to figure out how this works. The problem is getting people to Mars in the two hour window that I have to do it. Like, I literally don't. We can't send people, like I can't even order a rocket in that time. Uh, I think I just, like, I've already lost. Sad face. I've already lost! What's even the point of trying anymore? If we do it, right, if I, if I complete the challenge, if I click on the challenge, yeah, uh, have fully, four fully occupied living complexes. Now, if I complete it after the time, does that still count? Good thing you're Tom. I'm going crazy! The Founder Stage is the first 10 days on Mars. It's like an experiment that you have to prove to NASA, or I guess in this case, I'm proving to China that I'm not leaving people here to die, right? So they need to survive for 10 days, which is easy. And I guess you can't why why would they have founder sage on in this challenge that like ruins the whole challenge that literally cuts a third of your time off automatically because that's 10 days 10 days where you can't send a rocket full of people when you they know you need more people and i don't think you can turn i don't think you can turn any settings off in challenge mode i think it's this way on purpose to make it that much more difficult. But this is like the first challenge too. It shouldn't be this crazy. 
It shouldn't be this restrictive on the first one, where there's like a hundred more level. There's literally 99 challenges after this that are more difficult. Like 99 levels of difficulty above this. Maybe I'm just bad at the game. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is, I don't know. I'm just bad at video games. Welcome to the stream. I'm your mom's favorite streamer. Your mom's favorite gamer. She told me. She said that underdog guy is pretty cool. He's good at video games and you're like, no mom, he's not. <laughs> no mom! Underdog's bad at games. That's why people watch, really. You guys are all sadists, hoping for my failure. And I'm a masochist, I guess, because I'm doing it. I'm the one that's doing this shit. And this is a game that I like, and I'm complaining about it. I just, I like to complain about things, okay? It's what I do. Uh, what do, I don't even, like, know what to do right now. I uh, literally don't. Um... Because, I mean, I, it's not like we're short on resources that I need right this second. Fuel is pointless because I can't send a rocket. I guess we could try to upgrade the water, but... I don't know. I'm just kind of stuck here for the next 10 days. I'm stuck on Mars! Help! It's like that movie, The Martian. Except instead of Matt Damon, you guys are stuck with an idiot. <laughs> instead of a handsome Hollywood actor, you're stuck with me! Hi! Sector scanned. Something thump your wall? That sounds fun. That sounds like Milestone fun achieved. thing. Probably a bear. Don't worry about it. We've produced food. We're having a uh, salad here on Mars because all I can do is grow um, lettuce Research and wheatgrass complete. pretty much so I don't know where all these vegetables are coming from maybe they brought them because they can't bring food from earth so I guess that would make sense look at my scientists arguing about whether or not Californian bears are extinct they'll figure that out we'll leave it up to them this challenge is Dumb. I'm gonna lose. <sighs> We're gonna play it out, see what happens when I actually fail. Since I've pretty much at this point automatically failed. This is like depressing. This reminds me of like high school. Like, I'm doing it, but I know I'm gonna fail. <laughs> I'm here, but I know I'm gonna get an F for the rest of the semester. Watching, uh, watching 
NASA and JPL actually land a rover was really exciting, though. I'm glad I got to see that, because I missed the last one. Um, Hope, I think it was called? Or there was another one, too, right? What was the rover we sent before Perseverance? Was it Hope? Maybe I can break the game. There are colonists. A branch just fell on your roof? Oof. That sucks. How is somebody earth sick? You've been here for nine days! Shut up! What do you mean you're earth sick? You know how long we've all been in quarantine? Imagine going to Mars and being like, all right, I changed my mind. <laughs> like, what? No, that's not how this works. You're stuck here, just like me. You got the Mars flu. COVID on Mars, the first case. We're fucked. Any of, uh, anybody got that South African variant yet? That stuff's pretty lit, yo. Maybe the game will let me. Nope. I can send a cargo rocket, but not a passenger rocket. Oh, poop. the California variant is worse? Well, maybe because so many people in LA County have had it that it's had time to evolve there. Usually the way um, a virus evolves or mutates is through rapid spread. Um, the more that it spreads, the stronger it becomes. That's usually how pandemic viruses work. Um, so, in L.A. County, they have the highest amount in the U.S., actually. Uh, like, L.A. County has more cases a day than most states right now. Uh, they were higher back in, like, November. I have a friend that lives in L.A., and they were having, like, 50,000 cases a day. Like, per day, 50,000. That's wild. Um... Also, a lot of people in L.A. are just stupid and don't wear masks, so that's probably why that happened. Why am I out of power randomly? What? Excuse me? San Francisco? Uh-oh. Well, it was probably from someone from L.A. that went to San Francisco. They, like, they sneezed on a... They sneezed on the virus itself, and then the virus, like, mutated with itself. You know what I mean? You don't want to get it here. People have a lot of confidence and not worrying about it when your hospitals yeah man don't worry about it the hospital's overcrowded it's not a big deal just a hospital you know people aren't they're not afraid of corona until they get it and they realize oh no i can't breathe oh no my air is restricted and now i need a ventilator I'll just go to the hospital. And then they get to the hospital, and the hospital's like, well, you see, we had a hundred uh, respirators, and we're all out. Because we have over a hundred people here with it. So, you'll just have to wait three months. You know it takes six months to get a CPAP? You know what a CPAP is? It's a sleep machine. You know how long it takes to get a, a 
respirator and uh a ventilator you know how much those take to get usually without government assistance it's like three months covid doesn't kill you in three months it kills you in like two weeks if you get a really bad case of it that's how long it takes for it to restrict your breathing to the point of you needing uh emergency air literally two weeks so if you get it right if you get covid in the worst case scenario with you'll know within the first week because you'll be really sick right and you'll have all of the symptoms and then in the second week your breathing is very restricted and it's going to be hard to breathe and you'll have chest pain and your so your throat will be sore and you'll probably need to go to the hospital because otherwise you're just going to die uh and then all obviously like we said all the hospitals are overcrowded understaffed overworked underpaid <laughs> you name it it's a disaster that's why uh america has it the worst because our healthcare system is pretty much a disaster and i'm i mean covid is a is a horrible thing but i'm glad that other people that didn't work uh yes we did have it the worst absolutely 100 percent I can tell you as a person that worked in a <laughs> as as a person that worked in a hospital, I'm going to have to disagree with that. I, I actually worked in a hospital. I I actually had I was actually paid to count bodies. So, uh fuck that. Anyone that tells you otherwise is just wrong. I'm sorry. Research it's th there's not like an argument to it. Uh, when I've seen it firsthand, people on co on uh, respirators with COVID is not a fun thing to see. I'll tell you that from first person experience. Anyway, um, but I'm glad that something happened. I'm not glad that COVID happened. Obviously, it's a it's a disaster. It's a horrible, horrible pandemic that killed like 500,000 people so far. Um, I'm glad that other people who don't work in the medical field can see what a disaster the medical field and I'm, I'm glad people can see like what a disaster the healthcare system of America is because this is like a showcase of how bad things really are because you don't know how bad things really are until they hit the fan like until shit hits the fan you just assume everything's fine. Like, you go on in your daily life, and you're like, everything's fine, it's whatever. And then something happens where you're like, uh-oh, we're in deep shit all of a sudden. And it feels like, you know, we, d we can't recover. Well, because of systems in place that just don't work. They simply don't Sector work. Scan. In order to get uh, respir respirators, ventilators, um and any other life-saving equipment takes months it shouldn't take months it just simply shouldn't it should take hours like in in a best case scenario in other countries it literally takes hours in new zealand people that work in hospitals when they order a ventilator it takes them five hours to get it five hours that can save a life you can air pump somebody for five hours. You can't do that in America. People won't do it. Nurses won't do that. And you can't live without air. It doesn't, the case numbers don't matter when it comes to getting ventilators. Numbers don't, they're, they have no relevance. Our response to COVID was the worst because our healthcare system is the worst. Like, our healthcare system is actually worse than third world countries. India, who don't even have a formatted system of hospitals, dealt with it worse. You can't even find a doctor in Canada? Yeah, good luck finding a doctor in the first place. 
And Canada has arguably one of the better healthcare, like, systems. Like, you have universally free healthcare. Which is what we need in America, but that's never gonna happen, so good luck. Good luck getting that Like, people don't get it. Uh, first of all, Americans believe in freedom, right? So, you don't have the math. Like, people won't... Even in a government-mandated mask situation, people here refuse to wear them. Not only do they refuse to wear masks, they'll have parties on purpose without masks in order to spread it more. Right? And saying you have enough beds is, like... You, can, you can't build more beds without a budget. Most hospitals don't have an expansion budget to make more beds. That's not how it works. You don't magically get more beds. You, you actually have to expand your hospital to get more beds to take care of more people, but then you need more equipment. And that is uh, that takes years, like actual years, for that to happen. To see the outcome of 500,000 people dying after like a year of COVID? The thing is, there are things, I'm going to tell you this uh, as a person as a person with a junior OBGYN, and I took like four courses in virology, uh, I worked in Massachusetts. Um, there are things, there are things that are worse than COVID. And this is the response and the outcome of COVID is 500,000 dead in America. That's scary, dude. You know how scary that is? I don't think you guys get it. <laughs> I, I don't think you guys understand. Yeah, I used to live right outside of Cambridge. Uh, I don't think you guys get it. Like, it could be so much worse. It could have been so much worse. So much worse. Like, it doesn't surprise me for a fact that we hit 500,000. It just doesn't. It might be a horrible thing to say, but it doesn't. It simply does not surprise me for a second. It doesn't. If you told me a year ago, what do you expect out of COVID? I would have said, well, it depends on how we deal with it. 100%. Can we get a mask mandate? Yes, we can. Will people follow it? No, they won't. So that cuts your chances in half of it being bad right there. That's at least half of your cases are just simply those people that refuse to wear masks. Half of the, half of the people that got it and died are the people who refuse to wear it. The other half are healthcare workers that got it uh, by working like firsthand with it uh, people in healthcare facilities retirement facilities nursing homes that don't have access to emergency healthcare except for uh, you know instant revival like they pretty much will only do CPR uh, five stat and uh CPAPs, like emergency CPAPs, 
That's about it for nursing care health. Like, they don't actually have ventilators at nursing homes. It just not, it's not a thing. Unless the person is already on that and they're like, you know, unless they're attached to a breathing machine, they don't have access to it. Unless they specially order it. And that takes months, like I said earlier. <clears throat> Does this have... They should have separated over 50 from under 50? How do you do that? How do you do that in a country of 300 million people? You let me know. Good luck. Good luck separating anyone from anyone in America. People didn't even follow lockdown. Like, government-mandated lockdown. People didn't follow that shit. What do I need? Polymers? <clears throat> yeah, we don't really have polymers. I guess I could drop a pod of them, but it doesn't... not gonna matter. I don't really need this concrete anymore. Like, we've built everything I needed to build for the challenge, so I don't really need the polymer. Wowzers in my trousers! Not everybody that has COVID is over 50. That's... I, I don't know who said that, but that's just not based in any science ever. COVID doesn't care how old, like, no virus cares how old you are. You're at risk the older you are with any virus, period. Tell the over 50 to stay home doesn't work like that. Uh, because people have to work outside of their house. Not everyone can work from home. In fact, only 13% of Americans work from home. 13%. We're talking about America specifically, by the way, because uh, that's where I live. I don't know what other countries are doing. I just know what our country is doing. Um, keep the 20 year old minimum wage workers from going to nursing homes. You can't restrict visiting rights. That's uh, First Amendment. And also, I'm pretty sure that's um, barring as well working yeah you can't restrict working rights that's first amendment you have the right to work you have the right of expression <clears throat> you can't halt somebody from working in first response either there's a lot of young people uh like 20 year olds that you're talking about that work as first care in minimum wage there's a lot of interns a lot of uh, first-year nurses work in nursing homes. You can't stop them from working. That's actually a crime to do that. You can ask them uh, to do it more safely. That's about all you can do. There's, there's like, worker unions that restrict that shit. <laughs> Trust me, I was in one. Uh, that's, that doesn't, that wouldn't do anything. Next time we will see. Yeah, that's the scary part is it's not going to be a long time till the next pandemic. It's not going to be a long time. Or till the next outbreak of something. In fact, uh, H3NZ, which is evolved bird flu, that's probably going to be the next thing that hits America. And that's... Uh, <clears throat> it's a type of bird flu that can transition through the same way that COVID does. Through saliva and bodily fluids. Sneezes, coughs, spit, kissing, you name it. Before SARS? Well, there was diseases before there was people.
chicken flu? That's what I was just talking about. I think it's H2N3 because it's the second strain of uh... bird flu. It's the second known human transfer bird flu in history. The one that's happening now over there. Yeah, most usually bird flu isn't human transmissionable, but the this one is the one that's happening now. It spreads the same way COVID does. Literally the same way. So that'll probably come to America since we haven't restricted travel at all whatsoever. Which is why we have other variants too, by the way. Like, we wouldn't have these new variants, like the South African variant. We wouldn't have that if we restricted travel. But we never did. Uh, I think Trump restricted travel from China for about three months. That was his response to COVID. That was it. That was what America did for restricting travel. We stopped one country from coming here for three months. That's, that was it. That should be a red flag to everybody right there. That we have no idea what we're doing. Or at least whoever's in charge doesn't know what they're doing. In response to an obvious pandemic. Because they were, they were basically like, uh, you know. Yeah, we should have blocked all of Europe and UK immediately. Uh, first thing. That would have been my first, if I was in charge, that would have been my first thing that I would have done. Because you can't stop at 100%. You can only try to reduce it and create the lowest numbers possible. That's what you can do. Best case scenario, you stop it from spreading here by restricting travel protocol, by restricting travel, um, and then you start, day two, you start prepping uh, respirators and ventilators. and you start trying to figure out how do we distribute masks. Mask distribution on a mass level. Which is now a thing. And now we're at the stage where we have, you know, inoculation and vaccine. Uh, I believe there's actually like three different vaccines that are going on. Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson have their own vaccine now. But it's like, even the vaccine, even dealing with the vaccines, we're not doing that to our best. We're just simply not. Because we don't, I don't know, don't put it as a focus for some reason. Even though it's our biggest issue. It's weird. America's a weird place. The priorities of the many are not the priorities of the few. Which has always been an issue for America specifically. It's not like a political statement, that's just how it is, fortunately. <clears throat> but I don't want to rant about COVID all day. The vaccines are pretty amazing. My mom was vaccinated. She's supposed to get a second shot pretty soon, too. In like the next week or so. I think she just got her appointment. But getting an appointment is a whole different story, and it's due to the same issues that exist. There's not enough manpower, and there's not enough organization, and all the websites are... Whoever's running these vaccine websites... That's what you should hire social media to do. You, that's what you tell Facebook to do. Or the people behind Twitter. That's what they should do. <clears throat> you pay Facebook. I know it's the worst thing to do, but you pay... That's what you should do. You pay Facebook to make a second website. And you say, hey, if you make a vaccine website where everybody can order and set up appointments for a vaccine, 
without the website crashing, boom, we'll give you a couple million dollars to do that. Or, if they were nice enough, they could do it for free. But that would never happen. <laughs> Let's be honest, that's never gonna happen. That's what I would do. If I was in charge, that would be like, uh, well, as soon as you need inoculation and vaccine, then I would probably try to set that up. Because, I mean, they've tried doing government websites, but government websites are always trash. And life gives you lemons. I have four days left in the challenge. A vaccine might not be enough. A vaccine will protect 80 to 70 to 80 percent of people. <clears throat> if you get enough people vaccinated. Which is, by the way, how you create herd immunity. I know a lot of people don't understand how herd immunity works. You need at least like 70 percent of the population to be inoculated first before the rest of them become immune. That's literally how that works. That's how you create herd immunity. You can't just get herd immunity by everyone getting sick. That's that's how you create mass death. Two different against the known variants. Well, they're working with the new the new ones too. <clears throat> Pfizer already has a 60% uh, inoculation against the new strain. So that's what they're working on now. That's literally what Pfizer and uh, I believe Moderna is doing. They're doing testing with the new um, variants of COVID. Hmm. But there's never a cure. That's what people don't get. There's never a cure. Uh, and there's probably not going to ever be eradication. It's just not going to happen. There's too much of it now. We're beyond that point. That's the worst news, I guess, of all of this, is that we'll be dealing, we'll be dealing with COVID for like the next 10 years. <clears throat> I think that if we can get these, um, the current vaccines out, so, like, at least 70% of America, America can recover. I really do think so. But it's going to take a while. It's going to be a big process of doing it. And you have to give people money. You have to. Like, if they, if they don't send out a check, I don't know, man. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. It's just something that we're all dealing with. You know? It's like a common problem that we all have now. We all have to deal with this. And that's where... That's where I think, like, politics becomes the issue because I I'm a political comic like all the jokes 99% of the jokes that I write are about politics because when it comes to saving lives and yeah when it comes to saving lives that should be your priority your priority as a country to be saving lives regardless of party politics and the idea that they tried to make it be like you know wearing masks is a statement no it's not but the media is at fault as well it's not like politicians it's it's the, the mass american media is at fault for like spreading mixed messages all the time not only misinformation but 
just not educating people on how masks work. That's a big issue. Why are they not doing that? Population control. Well, we don't have that. I don't even wear condoms. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, we don't have population control. Here? No, we don't have that. Do I watch BBC? No. No, I watch uh, Young Turks, RT, Fox News, CNN, and uh, ABC. And the only reason I watch half of those is for my job. I have to write jokes about Fox News, so I watch Fox News. But I mean, ABC is pretty in the middle. RT is 100% propaganda. Yeah. COVID could be population control. No, if you want to control population, that's a really easy way to do that. really easy way to do that. Way easier than allowing a virus to spread. And our population's not even an issue. 300 million people in America isn't as much as you would think. Do I watch Democracy Now or News Hour? No, I don't have time. I'm too busy watching everything else. I don't think News Hour is bad though, from what the little that I've seen of it. Do I listen to secular talk? Like I said, if I don't watch or listen to something, I just don't have the time because I'm doing everything else. Like, I, I have to watch a lot of Fox News, unfortunately. Otherwise, how am I going to write jokes about Tucker Carlson, you know? Like, most of my jokes are just about Tucker Carlson. I have to make fun of Tucker Carlson. I have to. I literally have to. It's my job to do this. For America. <laughs> For America! Am I right? For the betterment of mankind. If we're not gonna save the world, then I will. <laughs> so dumb. You like it better than Young Turks? I just watch Young Turks because they will cover stuff that main most mainstream won't. Wait till Biden's people start leaking? You don't really have to leak much about Biden. He does everything out in the open. He already fucked up. Like, literally yesterday. And it's that's not, like, a political statement either. It's weird. As soon as you... From being a comic for, like, ten years, uh, as soon as I make a comment about somebody, everyone will think it's, like, based on my political views it's not like you can do something that's just bad there's bad and good you can do bad and good it's not about being um, political it's not about Democrat versus Republican it's not it's not about that it's about good and bad wearing a mask is good it's not like a political statement, it's just a thing. You know? Wearing gloves. Like, when you're a doctor, you should wear gloves. When you deal with food, when you work in like a meat plant. Or have you ever been to a Subway? Has anyone here been to a Subway? A Subway sandwich shop? Have you ever seen someone make your Subway sandwich without gloves? 
That's fucking gross. That's why COVID's an issue. That right there. That is a perfect window into why COVID is so bad in America. Right there. Because if you can't teach a minimum wage worker in a sandwich shop to make a sandwich wearing while wearing gloves, then you've got so many other problems. This is like third grade shit, dude. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. It's not this hard. People are just dumb. Yeah, but I'm talking about, like, things that aren't political. Like, wash your hands after you piss or shit. Just wash your hands. Even if you don't touch your dick, dude. Sometimes I'll piss with no hands. Because I feel like I, I'm close enough to the urinal I don't need to aim, right? So I won't even use my hands. I still wash my hands. I still wash my hands. Wash your hands. That's not a political statement. It's just a thing you should do. Wash your hands. If you wash your hand, if everyone washes their hands, they don't have to worry about the door. There's more germs on a sink than there are on a doorknob. There's more germs on a sink than anywhere else. A sink and money. Those are the two dirt. Money is probably the dirtiest thing ever. Money and a sink. Usually the top of a faucet. Right on top, because that's where everybody puts their hands before they wash them. So right on top of the faucet. And then coins, like money, like dimes and nickels are the dirtiest shit in the world. I'm surprised we don't get more pandemics just because of that. Nobody washes money. If you have a coin in your pocket, it probably came through a hundred people's hands. And none of those people wash their hands. And none of those people wash their money. Nobody washes money. Have you ever washed money? No, you haven't. Why? Because you weren't taught to do it. That's why. That's it. You weren't taught from a child that, hey, money is dirty. Nobody told you that. You know it. You know money's dirty. You know everybody you've ever seen has touched a dollar bill and then handed you that dollar bill. And then you went on and handed somebody else a dollar bill. That's how germs spread. Not COVID specifically, but germs. That's how people get the common flu. That's how it happens. COVID just happens to be through, you know, sneezes and coughs and all that shit. Yeah. Every time you flush a toilet, that shit goes up in the air. Have you ever seen the test where they, they like paint the uh... They paint the water? And then you get to see where the, the colored water goes? It's gross. Have you ever used a black light to see where stuff is going? Disgusting. People are dirty. People are so dirty, dude. It's not a political statement. It's just a fact. And facts don't care about your feelings. And I'm sorry that somebody is probably hearing this and thinking that it's a rant. It's not. It's simple. It's simple like, why do I have to remind people of like what they learned in third grade? I don't get it. Wash your hands, it's not difficult. I'm a plumber. <laughs> I'm a plumber. Oh yeah? Well. I'd like to see your plumbers crack. Ooh. Alright. I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me.
feel like everybody gets mad when I make a rant and then it's your guys' fault. It's my Twitch chat. Don't blame me. It's the chat. I'm just responding to the chat. I'm just responding to what they're saying. You can't be mad at me. In Japan, they wear masks all the time. Like, because they know. Because the Japanese are smarter than us. They wear masks. None of them complain about it. None of them scream about having their freedoms restricted. Uh, speaking about flooding, your hallway flooded this weekend, and your toilet overflowed, and poop went all over your floor, and you slipped on the poop. Wow. That's unfortunate, dude. You may just wear a mask for the rest of your life. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? I don't think that's crazy. I think that makes you smarter than everyone else. I barely get sick as it is. Like I never get sick. I don't I don't go outside anymore. Half of my gigs got canceled. It's like, where am I gonna go anyway? I ain't got shit to do. I ain't got shit to do. You like the idea that people that think wearing a mask all the time is weird will leave you alone. I hope people leave me alone anyway. I hate when people talk to me. If I'm in the supermarket, don't talk to me. Period. Mask or no mask, just don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. I'm not there as a social meet and greet. I'm there to buy food so that I can survive for the next two weeks. I don't, that's not a place I want to talk to people. Let's change lives. Alright, but now... Okay, so you... Alright, now all of a sudden... Imagine this. We switch lives, right? Snap your fingers. We switched lives. Automatically? E Congratulations, you're a boy. <laughs> Congratulations, it's a boy! Yay! You have a penis now. Everyone clap. Have a cigar. It's not a bad one either. <laughs> Research. Research. <laughs> Gotta be careful what I say. <laughs> Jesus. You can't say that on Twitch, Underdog. Sorry. My bad. I didn't even have farms unlocked? Question mark? You can't say that on TV. You would rather be a guy? No, you wouldn't. You say that, but you really wouldn't. You just instantly smell bad now. Yeah. 
I probably stink. I haven't showered in like two days. I gotta take a shower after the stream. It's not like I was avoiding doing it, it just didn't happen. You stink now. We switched lives. Now you're an asshole. <laughs> you're instantly... Okay, if you're me, you instantly are an asshole now. You're funny, but most people don't think you're funny. You, but you are funny. You have to trust me on this. I'm funny, so you're funny. If you're me, then you're funny. And there's another dust storm. Are you fuck? What the fuck? What is this? Uh, I'm not even talking about like the gender differences. I'm talking about like me specifically. You're just an asshole now. I'd rather feel emotion than no emotion, Nimble. <laughs> I have no feeling whatsoever. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm becoming more numb than I was. Like, I, before all this shit happened, by the way, I felt, like, really numb to shit. Like, I don't care about much because I'm a dick. And I write jokes all the time, so I make fun of things. Like, the second they happen. Like, I wrote jokes about COVID the day it broke the news. Um... I, I, that's how I deal with shit. I just write jokes about it. If something pisses me off, I'll just write a joke about it. But, uh, like, yeah, so I thought, I was like, alright, nothing can upset me at this point. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong! I was like, I'm numb to everything now. And then lately it's like, a, nope. Nope. I'm wrong. All right, we got one day, one day of failure left to go here in the game. And then what am I going to do? I guess we'll check what the, the next, uh, we'll check what the next challenge is, I guess. People have to go through mass deaths to be that numb, which is why I was numb before. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There you go, that's it. Welcome to my life. I have depression. What is that from? That's from something, I feel like. It's not just like an iDubbbz thing, is it? Like... Also, Nimble, you have to write jokes about things that are really controversial, so good luck with that. If you're me, that is. So good luck trying to tell a joke about something that's gonna piss off people without pissing off people. Good fucking luck. That's the hardest part about my job, right there. Making a joke about something that I know is super controversial, and then telling the joke, and then getting the hate mail after. Make the joke about people far- no, that's- that's not how that works either. I, if you tell a joke on the internet, it's there forever. You just get high to feel better. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, now that you're me, Nimble, uh, I'm straight edge. So, no more drugs for you. No more drugs or alcohol. The only drug you can have is caffeine, because you're me, right? So, I'm straight edge. I've been straight edge for like three years. Do 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 how long do you think it takes to send mail to Mars? Like, if you're on Mars and you order an Amazon package, 
package. How long does it take for the Amazon? The, yeah, the Amazon package to get there? Months? I don't know. I feel like I ordered something from Amazon like three months ago. And it's still not here, and I'm waiting for it. It's a wrestling game. I, I ordered a uh, a wrestling game for my PlayStation Two. And it's still not here. It's still not here. Alright, let's fail the game. Okay, can we just fail the challenge now? I'm fast forwarding through the dust storm. Because there's nothing else to do. Overnight costs money. Costs extra money to get an overnight shipping. Can't afford that. Broke. Plus... Yeah, you live in Cali. I live in the middle of the fucking woods. The closest Amazon distribution center is like four states away. Literally, there's one. There's like one in New Jersey, and I think that's literally the closest one. We don't have an Amazon distribution center. What they do is they like ship it to the UPS place, and then UPS will deliver my shit. Because <clears throat> there's a U there's a UPS distribution thing in Manchester, here. In New Hampshire, uh, that's it. There's like one. Cause nobody cares about us. Cause they forgot our state exists. <laughs> Pretty much anyone that doesn't live in New Hampshire forgot New Hampshire exists. That's just how it works. We were forgot. We're the forgotten ones. Every time I tell somebody I live in New Hampshire, they say where? I just say oh, North Boston, and they go oh, okay. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Oh, and Nimble, you also, now you have to pay for oil. You have to pay, like, a $500 oil check, because that's what I have to do this week. And you live off of oil for heating. It's Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Alcohol is not the answer. Somebody became an alcoholic, but there's no bar on Mars, so I don't know. How that happened. Twenty two hours till critical failure. Isn't this fun watching me lose? Uh Moonshine still? I The colonists are on the brink of dehydrating. How are you on the brink of dehydration? There's a leak. There's a leak! That's how. There's a leak in my pipes! Carbon dioxide is alcohol. Sector scanned. Huh? Select a sector to scan. Oh, you're saying like in order to make alcohol on Mars. No, that you can actually just have a bar. Like, you can build a bar in your colony, and then people will become alcoholic in the game. Which is a negative trait. Every, uh, civilian in your colony has positive traits and negative traits. Alcoholism is a negative trait. Obviously, it'll make them work less. I think that's the negative of it. I have to wait for a doctor? Well... Yeah, but... If you're me, you're instantly lactose intolerant, so... Get wrecked. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to say my problems are worse than yours, I'm just saying we all have problems, Nimble. It's true. I have problems. Don't think my life is better than yours. Just because I'm not dealing with the same problems you are, maybe I'm dealing with uh, my own problems. Have you ever thought of that? You're just... You say you would switch lives, but you might regret that and find out that, hey, Underdog has more issues. They might not be as bad, but there might be more of them. You don't know. Maybe your whole colony will freeze, like, seven hours before you beat the game. Maybe that'll happen. You know? Oh my god, dude.
Like, can't even fix this shit. This stupid dust storm broke everything, and it's gonna be here for 18 more hours, dude. Why is there no- why is nobody fixing this? We have the metal to fix this. Alright, well if you switch lives with me, congratulations, now you suck at video games. You think you're bad at video games now? Wait till we switch lives. What the fuck? I don't even know what to do. Uh, I guess I'll just send... I can't even order metal! I can't even do it! They, the game won't even let me do it. It's just making me fail. It's taking the air out of my tunnel and not... Or, the, out of my tubes. Taking the air right out of me. And it's not letting me fix the problem. Because there's a death storm, so nothing's working. There's a leak, dude. Fix the leak. Resources are low. Fix the leak. There's a leak. Fix it. Hello? Why won't you fix the leak? They just won't do it. This will go down in history. Well, we failed. Challenge failed. Rip. All right. Well, we'll give the um. I mean. I had like three disasters happen in a row. I got I had two dust storms and one ice storm. We can just see what this next challenge is and start it to see what it is. So that was housing bubble. Next there's a Founding Fathers, complete the Founder stage within the first 12 days. What? How? You have to get people on Earth in the first two days. Ex Export 30 rare metals within 30 days. Have five people born on Mars within 26 days. What? Produce a thousand concrete in 34 days. These are so hard. What the fuck? Earn 200 Mars bucks. 200. Oh, sorry. 2,000 Mars bucks from tourists within the first 80 days. That sounds like it might be possible. You just have to, uh get the right research for the tourism have 200 people per in the first 80 days analyze all anonymous I'm, I'm, I can't speak today anomalies anom anom anomalies llama llamas these are so difficult have a VR workshop, art workshop, and bio-robotics workshop by day 150. Those are the three things you discover last. How do you get all that research in 150 days? Construct a wonder. That might be possible. Five domes in 200 days. What the fuck? Bitch, what? Have seven wonders? Alright, uh, those are, those are crazy. Challenge mode is too crazy for me, dude.
my brain doesn't work right. My brain doesn't work in the way that it needs to in order for those to be a thing. Um, can we get a mod poll? Is Taylor still here? It's all right. All right. Type Y in chat. Y or no. There right, we go. Y or no in chat. If you guys would be interested in creative mode. Not today, but next time I play. Yes or no for creative mode. Or do you want me to go back and actually play the game? What is creative? It allows me to build uh, with unlimited resources, basically. Sandbox. Do whatever you want, build whatever you want. And you can research like 500 times faster, so you just unlock everything really quickly. And we have one yes for creative. Nimble, you want to vote? Nobody else wants to vote? Cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I don't know how to run a mod ball. Literally don't know how to do it. I thought you could just click a button, but uh, apparently it doesn't work that way. It don't work that way. All right. Well, thanks for the stream and the rants and... Um, You're all a bunch of weirdos. See you guys next time. On the show where we stream the games. Tomorrow I'll be streaming if I have power. If I have power. This weather permitting. Because we are getting a storm this weekend here. Weather permitting. I will stream tomorrow. Uh, we're going to go back into the spooky pack challenge. And play a coaster and finish, try to finish that park maybe. Or just work on it at least. So, Planet Coaster tomorrow, and then, uh, we'll see what's after that, I don't know. Something after that, maybe. Maybe Greedfall or something, I don't know. I don't know, I'll post the schedule, you guys know what to do. Alright, P-Butts, and Butt-P. See ya.